Thanksgiving is actually a really big holiday for print-on-demand sales. Whether it's people wanting to wear a sweatshirt to Thanksgiving dinner that fits the theme, or maybe a matching funny t-shirt that you wear with your friends to a friend's giving dinner on Thanksgiving weekend. Either way, as a print-on-demand seller, opportunities knocking, so I want to do some research. I want to make some designs using AI, and then I want to launch a brand new print-on-demand store using Printify, selling our Thanksgiving apparel. We're going to do it all in this video. Let me show you how easily it can be done using modern technology. First, the research. Hey, there's no shame in taking shortcuts. I'm here in Merch Dominator. It looks at Amazon, the number one e-commerce website in the world, for best sellers. So I'm going to go to MBA and KDP, and I'm going to click best sellers. Now, by default, it sorts by BSR. That's a data point Amazon gives us showing how well products are selling relative to each other. I'm going to type in Thanksgiving, and then on the search modifier, I'm going to switch it from default to in title. This way, it's going to give me all the best selling Thanksgiving shirts all right there in front of me. So now I can just scroll and gather ideas. By the way, as I mentioned, the BSR, that numeric value is showing us how well these products are selling relative to each other. So I know at the top, we're seeing the best sellers. And by the way, we can filter out those big brands uh, just by going to advanced and then applying the uh, exclude brands right there. Okay, now it gets rid of the you know brands that might get us in trouble. So you can see here, the current bestseller looks like the man behind the pumpkin. So it's like a Thanksgiving pregnancy announcement. Uh, number two bestseller, you know why I'm here. We got the deviled eggs. Uh, number three, we got these happy fall, y'all, gnomes. Number four, I came in like a butterball, the turkey riding the pumpkin. Uh, number five, just a pumpkin with a pilgrim hat saying happy Thanksgiving. You guys get the gist. So what I did is I selected a few of these designs that I want to recreate with you in our own style using AI. Now, the first method I want to show you is using Google AI Studio with Nano Banana and simply taking like a picture of existing designs and having it make simple modifications. For instance, I took that picture of a pumpkin. I said, make the bow red and put the face of a turkey in the pumpkin. Boom, I've got a completely original, unique design in less than 10 seconds. That's one easy way, but I wanted to show you another way that I actually prefer when I'm personally going through uh, this workflow. And that's where I take a design. I'm gonna go to Amazon, get the full resolution version right here. I'm gonna take a screenshot I'm going to pull it over into Ideogram AI. I'm going to click describe. Within seconds, it will give me a full AI prompt for recreating a similar design. Then I come over here to Google Nano Banana. I say create this design and I paste. I hit run. Give it maybe 10 seconds. And honestly, while it works, I think we should reset Ideogram and go over here to Merch Dominator and go through some more of these bestsellers and queue up the next one and watch how quickly we can pump out these designs. Guys, my goal is to demystify how hard it is to do exactly what I talked about us doing in this video, which is launching a brand new store with unique designs in a trending niche with trending sub niches. That is Thanksgiving. So there's Thanksgiving with my Nomies. Now I've got the next prompt. I'm going to say create this design. You probably don't even have to say create this design. I think it knows. Okay, boom. It's working on the next one. It's going to make a version of the coolest turkey at the table. Uh, next, it's wake and bake with a turkey. You guys are hopefully seeing how easy this can be. Paste in ideogram, describe, come back over here to Nano Banana. We've got our own version of coolest turkey at the table. Perfect. Okay, uh, create this design. Boom, copy paste. We'll let it work. We'll come back to Merch Dominator. It looks like it says save a turkey. So it's a turkey holding a sign that says eat a pizza, save a turkey. You guys already know we're going to paste that into Ideogram, click Describe, copy that prompt. There's our Wake and Bake, by the way. Completely original designs. There's no shame in doing this. Give the customers what they want. If these are the best sellers, uh, that's what's selling. <laughs> you know, Use the data to your advantage. This is not uh, hopefully the first time you're hearing that advice to do a little bit of market research before you dive into the market and spend time and money. Okay, we got our Pumpkin uh, Starry Night Van Gogh. I'm going to have it describe that. There you go. Eat pizza, save a turkey. Boom, done. Create this design. This should be our Van Gogh Starry Night. And then one more, tis the season. We got the coffee, we got the fall leaves, we got the football, the pumpkin. Again, simple. Paste, describe. There's our Starry Night Van Gogh with the pumpkin. 
By the way, you can also hit generate an ideogram. I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, and show you guys the kind of the side by side because you don't have to use nano banana, but nano banana is the fastest typically. So on the left side, you've got your tis the season from nano banana, and then I'll make this full screen from ideogram. And ideogram generates four at a time, which is really cool. So you get options, it just takes a little bit longer. There's tis the season number one. Here is number two. Actually, okay, number one, number two. The football looks a weird shape in number two. There's number three. And there is number four. I'd probably just go with number one. I think they try to guide you into picking the one that it thinks best. But we've got a bunch of great options now to use in our print-on-demand shop that we're going to launch. The next step is I logged into Printify and I created a new pop-up shop called Thanksgiving Shirts. And I created a few Thanksgiving shirts that are going to be sent to our shop. Printify is a massive network of printers. When we create our products through Printify, they know what to fulfill after the order takes place. And this way we don't have to worry about stocking inventory, buying a t-shirt press, shipping products out. We outsource that at a minimum upcharge and then we can focus on scaling our business. Now let me walk you through creating a product. I'm gonna click catalog and then I already created all the t-shirts. So I'm gonna click sweatshirt. And then I'm gonna use the Gildan 18,000 very popular tried and true hoodie, or not hoodie, sorry, sweatshirt. And now what I'm going to do is go to my library and just add a design. So how about we add this awesome uh, Starry Night inspired pumpkin design right there. Make it really large to the middle. Then on the right hand side, I can hit select variants and I can offer multiple colors. So we have white, we have black, we have red. I think really any color is going to look good. Orange. How about some fall colors? Even like the gold. Um, what else? Maybe like a sapphire blue could look good. And I love royal blue. So I'm going to do that as well. Okay, so we've got a couple color options. I'm gonna hit save product now. And next we get to choose our mock-up. So Printify also has the software to generate mock-ups for us. Let me move myself in the recording. You can see on the right-hand side what mock-ups are generated and auto-selected. Uh, they actually have additional mock-ups as well, but I'm gonna use these default ones just for the sake of this video to speed it up. So you can see here um, the different colors that you can cycle through and it'll cycle through the different mock-ups associated with those colors that it generated for us all while, you know, while you've been watching this video, it's that quick. Uh, they use AI to generate a title for us. So this is what it came up with. I didn't have to do anything. Pumpkin Starry Night Sweatshirt, Cozy Fall Crew Neck, Halloween Gift, Harvest Apparel, Warm and Stylish Sweater. I think that's really good. Do you think we need to make any changes? I don't. They have a default description that we can make edits to if we need to, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Uh, down here, we can set our pricing. So right here, I can go ahead and hit edit price. And typically, I'm aiming to charge around $30 as a baseline price. And then different SKUs associated with the size uh, have a higher base cost. So the 2XL, 3XL, 4XL, 5XL, um, they're going to cost more because they're going to charge us more for fulfillment. Uh, so that's already taken care of for us. And the retail price is already set to $29.95, which is right in that $30 range that I was looking for. The profit is right around $11.98. It's starting when you charge $29.95. So it's perfect. It's got a 40% profit margin built in. So if we run, wanna run ads, that's gonna be easy. The only thing I have to do is hit the publish button that's hanging out down below where I'm on this video. I hit publish. It's gonna send it to our pop-up shop. And now we're ready to launch our fully functional e-commerce store. To do that, we're gonna use Everbee Store, which allows us to launch an e-commerce store, whether it's print-on-demand or not, by the way, but I love print-on-demand. And you can either integrate straight from your Etsy shop, pull all your products, you can migrate from Wix, or you can do what we're gonna do in this video and create a brand new shop using AI. So I'm gonna select Create with AI and Get Started Now. By the way, everything I'm showing you in this video is gonna be linked in the description. So it says, share your details to help us design your website. I'm gonna say, Thanksgiving themed t-shirt store. And I'm gonna let the AI take care of everything for me. A few moments later. As a former web developer, I find this so cool. So it actually went and generated sample products for us in the Thanksgiving niche. Now, this is fine as placeholders until we integrate our Printify account and add our real products. So behind me, there is a next button. I'm gonna go ahead and click the next button. Here we have the ability to customize the layout of the site, things like the color scheme and whatnot. You can see over here, they've got pre-built color schemes. Uh, you can click and in real time kind of preview what that's gonna look like. I don't worry too much about this. You can change it after the fact as well. So don't stress too much, but I went ahead and clicked 
the one with that kind of brown and pink because I thought that fit a little bit of a Thanksgiving vibe better. You can even select, by the way, your font, your font pairings. So I'm going to go with Meriwether, I think. That, to me, looks kind of Thanksgiving-y. Uh, and I'm going to hit Go to Dashboard. So it just built out our whole functional e-commerce website. The thing is, we need to add the products, as you know. So now I'm here in our Everbee Store dashboard. The first thing, and it gives you a little uh, guide, by the way, of what you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to Apps on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to go to App Market. And where it says Printify, I'm going to click Install. Just like that, in one click, it's installed. I will approve. And then I'm going to connect it to my Printify account. Okay, I'm going to click Allow. By the way, guys, do not be scared of doing this. You're seeing how easy it is in real time. I'm not editing this where I'm, you know, editing out the hard part or anything like that. I'm showing you that in less than a minute, we've got the Printify app installed. And now all we need to do is change all stores in the top right to Thanksgiving shirts where we have our shirts that we made the designs for, that we researched for minutes ago. I'm gonna select all and then I'm gonna click publish to store. And how about that? Now the products are here in our Everbee store that by the way, it called Harvest Teas for us. Uh, so let's open them up. It's interesting, the ranch dressing one, I must have made that on accident. But let's check this out. So you've got the pumpkin starry night. Uh, you have all the different colors available as well. And one feature that I love about Everbee Store is it's fast. I used to be a web developer. I used to have to worry about optimizing page load speed. That is a thing of the past now. AI can build you a fast website as you just saw. Um, so that's our Pumpkin Starry Night sweatshirt. Here's our Halloween inspired shirt. I don't know if this was supposed to be sent over. It looked like a Printify thing. But you've got all the different condiments, which by the way, you could wear this as like a matching costume with your friends to Friendsgiving. So I still like that. Uh, here's the Tis the Season shirt for Football and Thanksgiving fans. Obviously, there's football on on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, you got the Starry Night shirt. You've got the uh, Get In Loser. We're going haunting, which again, I don't know how that one got sent over. That was a mistake on my part. And here's the coolest turkey at the table shirt. Uh, so that's how easy it is, guys, to launch a fully functional shop. Now, something that we might need to do is design the site and replace that banner image. So let me go ahead and click design site there in the top right. And to start, we should replace this image that the AI generated for us with something a little bit more Thanksgiving-y. So I went ahead and used ChatGPT to generate this image for me. It's crazy, it looks so realistic, but that is ChatGPT. I said, create a website banner of four smiling people wearing Thanksgiving inspired shirts and hats. I'm attaching a design to use for inspiration, but make sure they're each wearing their own uh, unique clothing design. And check that out, I added the banner there. Now notice, it looks a little awkward. So over here where it says image fit, I'm gonna say instead of stretch to fit, let's do either uh, fit the frame, I believe that's what I normally use, or you can hit show entire image. Now, as a former web developer, trust me, I've run into this issue in the past before. I'm gonna go with fit the frame, or fill the frame, and position center center. You can just change that to center top and then boom. There you go. Or if you think it looks better to show the shirts, which I actually do, I'm gonna use center center, which was the default. Next up, you can change the uh, text here. So I'll say, well, either one, you could use ChatGPT to tell you what to say, or you could just say, uh, the perfect apparel for Thanksgiving day. And then what we can do is change the color of the text to maybe white. And the button there, it says shop now. I think that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit publish. And now we should be able to pull up our new Harvest Tees Everbee shop and see the changes that we just made live. Boom, I think it looks great. And then you scroll down to our products and we've got the products that we just published from Printify. Uh, down here, you've got additional sections that you can edit or delete. They also host your email list using Everbee email. So you can set up email collection, which is actually enabled by default, but then you can create your own automated email flows. They already have them, the campaigns built out. All you have to do is go in there and just customize them. Like what products do you want to link to? What do you want the verbiage to say, etc. It could not be easier to set up guys. And all of this is in the back end here of your Everbee store. Uh, under marketing, you can find the email here, okay? Uh, Everbee email makes it, I mean, again, you're, you're not going to want to not collect emails, guys. You want to establish those touch points with your potential customers. So your welcome series is right here. You can go ahead and click that. It's a five email series 
that's already set up for you. And in the back end, under the product section, you can edit all of your products, if you need to make changes to like the title, the mockups, the pricing, et cetera, all those things can be edited back here. Under the designer, you can do just that, design your website, edit those sections, add pages, remove pages, et cetera. Everything is back here in their site designer that you just saw me use. Uh, they do have something called the Brain, Everbee Brain, which is your AI assistant to help you launch and maintain your website. Uh, after that, guys, really all you need to do, and you can always come back to the dashboard just so you know, and it'll basically tell you what's left. You can see that it wants me to set up Stripe to start accepting payments. Once I do that, this website is fully functional. And just like that, in around 15 minutes, we did research. We found verified best-selling Thanksgiving designs. We made our own versions using the latest cutting-edge AI in Ideogram and Google Nano Banana. Then we launched a fully functional, completely functional e-commerce store using Everbee store with Printify doing the fulfillment on the back end, Guys, you saw me do it in real time. Everything I used is linked below. And I hope you're as excited as I am about what the future holds for building brands and scalable brands at that because we have Printify doing the fulfillment for us so that we can focus on the important part, which is driving traffic, converting that traffic, remarketing to that traffic, and generating as many sales as possible. So guys, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you soon with another new video.